Last week, a North Carolina drug company told parents of the dying seven-year-old boy that they could not sell him the potential life-saving treatment that would keep him from dying. Seven-year-old, his name is Josh Hardy, um, and he has fought three times against cancer. Brave little boy. Um, but he recently caused a vi- caught, caught a virus that is putting his heart and ki- putting his heart and kidney into failure. He's vomiting blood multiple times a day. Now there's a drug, there's an antiviral drug, um, that can solve this problem, but it has not received FDA approval yet, so you cannot get it at your pharmacy. But the FDA, in their rules, have an exemption have an excep- exemption for this approval if the person is in like dire straits or dire needs of the drug. Um, it's called the compassionate care exception. Um, but the company was not really willing to come up on it until CNN and others basically covered the story. And the press, when the press uncovered this whole situation, little Josh was finally given the, the drug that he needed to stay alive. Uh, it's a pretty cool story um, that, you know, what, what the press does, how the press can, you know, save the situation. As more and more bad press sort of worked for the company, this is Shimerics, his name is he will be the first patient in their new clinical trial set to start just a couple of days ago. Um, his parents are really happy about this thing, and so we, I'm here happy too, and I think everybody at Fallen Nation is happy that a young kid is finally saved. These drug companies are bringing in billions and billions and billions of dollars in profits, and you're telling me they're not unwilling to save a little boy who's throwing up blood every day? Come on, y'all. We should demand more from our... I mean, this is just everything to do with... This is the problem. This is that corporate welfare, corporate greed that we talk about on the Fowler Show each and every week that is really just destroying our country and destroying our world. These companies, especially the drug companies, have the ability to save people. I actually believe... Now, you might be thinking I'm wrong on this point, but I actually believe... I actually believe in my hearts of hearts that these drug companies... Some of these drug companies have come up with the cure to HIV AIDS. I do. And I think rather than going for the cure, they would rather... They would rather, they would rather sell the drugs that makes them more money. They'd rather come up with cures for stuff like cancer because they can make more money off of it than coming up with a cure for AIDS. It's a really sad thing. It's a really sad thing. But clearly, this little boy benefited from the corporate, cor- corp, the corporate, I was almost going to say like the cortocracy, and I can't even think of the word right now. But the plutocracy that exists in our country that limits the, the rights of working class and working class and middle class families to get a chance to see their kids stay alive. Thank you.